learning the rudiments of coding, aged four. The shapes on the wooden board determine where Cubetto, the square wooden robot, will go. It's good preparation for computer programming, getting small brains used to inputting the technical commands that tell your smartphone how to buy a coffee, skills much in demand in a high-tech world. It's all part of London Tech Week. The city is hosting hundreds of events, from virtual reality demonstrations to networking. 55,000 people are taking part. The UK may be leaving the European Union, but London is determined to remain Europe's high-tech capital. The London Olympics was a bonanza for a forgotten part of East London. Five years on, the Press Centre is now Europe's largest innovation hub. Plexel is like a mini city for startups, with low-priced, hot desks and access to common areas, attracting the best and brightest to London. We have a great set of universities and colleges which have supported research and development uh, in technology. We have a wonderful multicultural talent base uh, which comes from many different disciplines, design, engineering, commerce. Tech experts say there's a steady supply of young developers attracted to London as an international city. The diversity in turn makes the company stronger. If you want to be innovative, you need people who have different backgrounds, who have tried different things. We always talk about thinking outside the box, but how can you do that if you've never been outside the box? Or how can you build inclusive products if you've never been excluded? Some high-tech fun has also been on offer. Drone racing through 19th century Alexandra Palace. All designed to keep London at the top of the league as Europe's high-tech city. A competition that will only heat up as the UK's connection to Europe cools. Jessica Baldwin, Al Jazeera, London.